Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. False. Oh, I better make sure the audio's on. Hang on here. Dusty, dusty. Yeah, okay, audio's on. Um, I had uh, some technical difficulties because of uh, uh, that double streaming night we had there. I had changed some settings in the Terra Deck. And uh, anyways, it's working. We're working. We're back. Um, I, I have been missing because I have been running around with my head cut off, getting ready for the ducklings, uh, dealing with the customs brokers, and, and I ran and got a whole bunch of feed, and I'm now going to try to get a dog to come downstairs. Come on, Doug! As you can see, there's a, uh, a big pile of feed there. 49 bags. Come on, Doug! What a dog. Hey, look at this. He knows how to open the gate. Come on! Come on, Doug! Oh, okay, he's got himself trapped upstairs, guys. Here, hang on here. I can't go in the garage because I know for a fact that the uh, the uh, uh, Wi-Fi is not going to work in the garage. You were upstairs sleeping underneath the desk, weren't you? Come on. What a dog. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this dog, he kills me. He uh, He's figured out, I've got a gate to stop him from going upstairs, okay? And uh, I, I've got a bungee cord to hold it shut. Well, he's figured out how to pull the, the gate back with his nose and then he pulls it with his foot, and then he slithers up the stairs. But the problem is he gets upstairs and because he's such a big dog, he's looking down the stairs, he can't, he has to jump over the uh, the gate to get down the stairs, which he's not big on. So we had a sad day here yesterday. Um, we had a duck with botulism, um, and uh, she's no longer with us. Uh, I uh, found her, and she was like in bad shape, like really bad shape. As soon as I saw the green diarrhea, I knew it was uh, it was it was bad. And our Canada geese are not around here. So I had to go get patio stones this morning for the front of the barn because I'm going to, I'm increasing the area in front of the barn for the ducklings, which by the way, uh, Metzer is going to send us a grand total of uh, 1,200 uh, birds is what was what's coming. So we're going to be getting about 1,160 ducklings and about 40 geese is what they're telling me is what's coming. So, and it's going to be a selection of geese. Uh, African and uh, you know I, I don't know the exact mix but Mark's gonna fix us up uh, with, with a selection of, of geese of cool looking geese no emblems so but there is no uh, can of geese none at all all right let's let these little rascals out come on ducks Oh, I see a dog coming over high speed. Here. Dog quit. Calm down, dog. That's a good dog. Yeah, that's a good dog. Oh, I can't believe it. He didn't do any duck bowling, guys. Yeah, Doug, he's he did good, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Doug! Oh, Doug! Come here! Heel! Heel! That is so bad. Bad dog. You make me look bad, dog. Why'd you do that? I can't win. I just can't win. Oh, I'm going to hear it in the comments now. Um, he actually did step on the poor little duck. Man, why did he do that? He, he was doing so good. But it, he didn't, the ducks didn't get out yesterday, so he's a little excited today. All right, so... We had a bad duck, a dead duck yesterday. Well, it's no longer alive. I didn't 
give her the ox medicine. I didn't decapitate her because she was in really, really bad shape. Um, and I felt so bad for her. What I, what I did, guys, is I took her to the lake and I, 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 I took her out there off the end of the dock and I let her go and she swam out and she was swimming across the lake and that's the last time I saw her. So she's like, but I know she's on her way out. Uh, so she's like, she was in really bad shape wobbling that wobble neck the whole bit as soon as i saw the green diarrhea so she probably passed away out in the lake and snapping turtles got her but at least she died a duck you know i didn't want to just you know just decapitate her and it was just like i, I didn't i didn't want to do that i was i had a uh a, 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 a soft moment i guess we could call it so i'm going to attack the metal shed right now and get uh, it cleaned out and get the, the nesting boxes set up. And uh, I, this weekend is like major work weekend to get everything ready because Metzer's, it's happening guys. It's, oh yeah, oh the date. The docks are being shipped out by Metzer's on Tuesday and we're gonna have them physically here at the Ottawa airport at 12.10 uh, p.m. on Wednesday, June the 7th. And uh, my buddy that was supposed to come and help me uh, to go down to the airport. He is leaving to go on holidays the morning of the Wednesday, June 7th, to go to the East Coast. So I had to, today I, I went in and I rented a, a minivan because I don't, I trust the old truck. I, when I, I had to go deliver the ladders back to my buddy, the old truck had a little pulsating and I thought, oh, driving all the way to the airport and back, you know, getting in the city and uh, with the old truck, the, the, I, I decided I went and rented a minivan, I'm not taking any chances. When I found out today that my buddy was going to the East Coast on Wednesday, uh, you know, with the change in the date. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be going to the airport with a rental. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to uh, add more patio stones, actually 12 of them, because I want to make this area bigger because we're going to have uh, three uh, watering stations outside for the ducklings when they come outside. And I want to have it so it's patio stones so that it, uh, so I can keep it clean. Because I found this worked out really good last year, having a, a kiddie pool right there. It really helped keep the mess down. So, but the problem is one kiddie pool for 1,200 ducklings ain't gonna cut it. So I've got to make it a bigger area here. So I've got to do that this weekend. But first is uh, attack the uh, shed and the, the barn. Get that happening, and, which is gonna happen today. And unfortunately, and this is the thing is I planned, this was my plan guys. And that's what I was sort of like, I did a bunch of running around town and, and all that because we, it's just been nonstop raining here. That's all, it's, it just keeps raining and keeps raining and keeps raining. Um, and if it doesn't rain, it, it spits. Because my plan was, is I was gonna set the stream up in the barn, have it running, and then set this camera up out here. And so that you guys could follow me back and forth in the yard while I was working. Well, the problem is like, like right now, I just felt a couple of little spitting raindrops. So it's like, you just couldn't ask for like the worst spring. It doesn't even feel like spring actually. It doesn't honestly, it, uh, it, it just, it, it doesn't feel like anything. It feels like that in between something weather. I don't know, but uh, it's, it's just, it's just crazy. Wednesday, it's supposed to, the rain is supposed to stop and be nice out. So that's what's happening here. So I'm going to start doing some work and uh, get things happening here. <laughs> Done. Oh, you made me look bad. Why do you do duck bowling? So, so the little girl with the limp, I don't know. I'm letting her go. And the strippers, <laughs> the little duck. She's all over the place. I don't know what it is, but she's not into being in the buildings. She keeps, uh, you know, hiding and, or, I mean, uh, coming out of hiding and roaming around the pen. So I don't know what's going on with her. Magoo's in the building right now, though. We'll go and check out Magoo. But the two girls with the bad feet, bad hips, they keep, you know, they keep going down to the water and they're living life. Uh, Poor little botulism girl yesterday. Oh, Magoo, man. Here, I don't know if the, it should, well, uh, I don't know if it's gonna stay connected, guys. There's Magoo. I'm hoping the signal didn't cut out there. 
because I went inside a metal shed. So, so I'm going to uh, attack the metal shed and get all the nesting boxes over here, get this set up, uh, because I've got to start tearing the barn apart because my plan is tomorrow to be washing the barn out. Uh, I want to get it washed out and get the heat set up so we can dry it out. That's what the plan is. This weekend is a big major uh, work weekend. So I'll give you an update. I'm just, I'm thinking, it's just these, these it just keeps spitting rain, man. You couldn't ask for worse weather to set camera equipment up outside trying to do stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to I might come back. You guys might, and you know, if the, the, it's starting to clear up again, if it clears up enough, I'm going to set the camera up and uh, you guys can watch me work cleaning the, uh, setting up the uh, metal shed.